You look good, babe. You look good. Yeah, I know. gorgeous people hey beautiful people welcome back to my channel i'm quite excited about this one this wig is from west kiss hair so thank you to west kiss hair for sponsoring this video it's not my first unit from them and it's another one that is snapped with but i'm gonna walk you through the install first of all style it and let you guys know my thoughts on this unit so keep watching keep watching our unit is from west kiss hair like i said earlier and it came in this box let's get into everything that came in the box first of all we have our wig and then it came with a very big satin bonnet like this thing is big braids big enough like it would cover everything and i love that because this hair is like actually quite full i got the hd wig cap which you know is the best for bald cap method this melting band hmm, only if he knew the work he was about to do is once i've entered this box um, I also have the brush for edges which I use for baby hair, lashes and a satin drawstring bag to keep my wig in after the install. That's all that came in the box. Let's now see this gorgeous unit. So it's a frontal. It's a 13 by 4 HD lace frontal curly hair in 24 inches. This has been bleached like the knots have been bleached it has also been pre-plucked so it looks so natural and i love the way west kiss hair like pluck their hairline it actually looks quite natural you have elastic band and combs on the inside to secure it now to the install let's begin i'm gonna tint the lace using foundation that is like two shades darker you guys already know why i do that i it just helps like give a better finish like blend i already did bald cap method i would actually look good being bald like i wouldn't look so bad should we try it guys guys i'm having ideas so i popped on the wig and this is what we have i actually was so impressed with the knots that have been bleached and how naturally it looks and also the plucking it looks good as you can see from my smile but it is white so we do need to take care of the ear tabs like my ear needs to come out okay don't miss all your front house and your ears inside i'm using a lip pencil this particular type is so like it's creamy so it's easy for me to just like glide it through and just to mark out like where i want to cut i did the cutting off camera just because i can't really like feel myself doing that but basically just cut out you know in the in the direction like of your ear so your ear can come out and yeah this is what we had now i'm gonna be using actual glue to install this i normally just use the adhesive spray so what i'm doing is quite important if you're not an expert with glue like myself okay i'm using that same pencil to like mark out the hairline so i can apply the glue behind it and not in front of or like not on it directly because it could get really like messy if you if your glue is like in front of like where you want the wig to be so i'm putting it like ahead of it and then when applying the glue i'm just going to take it back so i simply just did that on both sides so this is the glue i'm using today it's actually new i'm not an expert with glue so take this with a pinch of salt <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna apply it in like little little dots as you can see i'm going behind what we have marked behind it not on it not too close to it because you're gonna make a big mistake if you do that behind it's very important okay so i'm simply doing this on both sides and then i'm gonna take the end of the brushes like the the brush for the edges the other the tail of it english is feeling me right now the tail of it just to spread it so you want to spread it make a thin layer going with another layer let it get dry first of all going with another layer before you place the wig on it Right now I'm taking wipes just to wipe off the pencil that we used to mark earlier. You want to be careful and not touch the glue. And now this is where I made a big mistake. I was getting impatient. I couldn't wait anymore because I had waited for like over 20 minutes for the glue to like dry clear. And I placed the wig on it without it drying clear. Please, if you're going to use this glue, 
just make sure it dries clear but i would show you guys how i was able to like fix it later on but you can see like through the lace because of how thin this lace is and the fact that it's like well plucked you can see like the whitishness around like where i did where the bald cap like ends next i went in with my melting band just to keep everything you know let's start the melting process early okay but after going in with the glue you want to you know press everything down you know let it dry for some time and while that was you know setting in place i went in with my hot comb to define the middle part it is 13 by 4 so when it's not as deep as you know 13 by 6 i like to open up the middle part more because i love me deep like middle part and then the hot comb to flatten the top you guys know how i feel with like the front part of my hair it has to be flat and then straight then we get into like the curliness and the puffiness but i like the first like the beginning part to be like really really laid down and that's what i'm doing with my hot comb i took off the melting band and i did the same thing with the hot comb you guys will have to forgive me because tell me why i forgot to re press record when i was cutting off the lace but i used my normal like hair scissors to cut off like the extra lace and it's very common for this to happen around the ear tabs like your ear your your teddies let me put it <laughs> let me say that um where there is like it's not laid down perfectly not enough glue there so i simply put some glue at the tip of my tail comb and just use like tap 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 there let it like get clear and then i place the lace on it and trust me it stayed put so i was ready to take off the wig so now let's begin to melt i actually melted twice i'm using my spirit smooth this really helps with like taking care of like the whitishness and it did a good job and i later went in with my actual melting spray i use a new technique for that um i've seen it like in a couple of videos like online where you then use a brush to apply your melting spray and honestly the reviews on that have been good i've tried it before now and it was like actually working for me so guys jump on it Hey guys y'all didn't think i was going to do like a full video without coming to talk to you guys you know just making a voiceover well this is actually like the next day and i just want to show you guys that the install is still looking good i mean like i was really scared because i normally don't install with glue glue i use like adhesive spray but i kind of wanted this to last because i'm carrying it for a shoot and i'm like yeah i want it to look bam okay i also got a new glue and i was really excited to try it out so that's why i decided to use the glue i made a mistake i should have waited for the glue to dry clear completely but i felt like it was losing its tackiness and i waited like guys i think i did like the three layers i was waiting for like maybe like 30 minutes 20 30 minutes honestly for it to like dry clear i got impatient and i decided to put it on it so that was a mistake that i made but how did we fix that mistake so i used my spritz that was the first one and then the melting band and just like i used the blow dryer like off camera for it to like dry so it took a while honestly because i think when i was even done like before going to do my makeup there was still like a little bit of whitishness but like now that i mean i i had my band i didn't have my melting band overnight please 
that thing doesn't allow blood flow to my head so i had like a silk it's like a silk scarf or like a silk band that's what i love to use i tie that overnight and i mean this morning here is what we have so in case you make that mistake this is real life not all insults are going to be perfect okay sometimes you make mistakes so in case you make that mistake that's how you can fix it well it worked for me so i think it would work for you well guys the face beat is done i went for like a full beat today because i'm going for a shoot so i want to finish up with this hair and then style it how i want it to be for the shoot and we wrap up this video but this hair is so gorgeous like the volume you guys the volume first of all this is like the water curly texture but like it's 250 percent density it's so full and i'm not going to try to reduce the shine you know let curb the volume no i'm here for the volume today i want it big i want something that says i'm here beyonce okay that's exactly what i want um but yeah guys this is our unit for the day let's finish working on it so i need to the top part looks okay but i feel like one side is puffier than the other so i want to like flatten this side a bit Uh, this hair is it's cute it's cute we just have to agree that you know it's cute i love it so much um so the top part is like all combed out because of like all the manipulation on the front top part so i want to wet it i'm not going to wet it too much because i do not want to lose this volume at all i love the way it looks so just a little spray and then run the hands through Clearly, you guys can see that I'm quite obsessed with this hair actually. It's so beautiful. I love the curls and we're getting good length from it. Can you guys see the full length here? Yeah. yeah that's the full length okay so this is 24 inches the volume makes me so happy and this lace i mean the fact that you could see that whitishness when it happened shows how thin the lace is i wanted to do like baby hair but you guys know how baby hair and i go we're not guys this one that i did on the side is to the glory of god that i was able to do it honestly um but yeah i think i like it like the way it is with like no extra like baby hair okay i still have a few fly hairs that's just giving me the itch sleep go to sleep go to sleep dear fly hairs go to sleep go to sleep sorry guys this is what happens when i have to film like outside normal functioning hours because this is like a.m like 6 7 a.m so i've not had my morning coffee so excuse me if I'm acting a bit <laughs> anyhow guys this is what we have you can see that the volume is looking I mean it's great it's beautiful beautiful curls for the beautiful girl like me that is me <laughs> you guys must get this hair please just get 250% density because this this is giving value for your money honestly like it looks so good this fly hairs I've decided that I will frustrate you today but i really can't be bothered i am overwhelmed by the beauty that is this unit west kiss hair maybe you should call me i need to you need to increase your price for this hair because it's so beautiful actually yeah so i want to get into styling real quick so i want to style this hair and i actually just want to do like a slick back with this hair because i mean it's quite puffy it's full but I want it to be like sleek 
and then it just goes to like the back plus i have a shoot that i'm doing and it's kind of like a serious serious look um so i want it to be like all the hair to the back and then the beautiful puffy curls i said puffy jesus puffy curls curls <laughs> what is wrong with me this morning the beautiful puffy curls would just like be at the back you know we have good volume at the back i think that would be really good plus you know the little sideburns that i've given myself here might also like add to the look Guys, so here is our final style. I actually really like this. Like, I don't take my hair a lot to the back, if you guys notice. Um, I don't know, I just feel like it shows a lot on my face. So I like like center parts, but like I decided to show my face and I like it. It's giving different and yeah, I'm here for it actually. So all sleek to the back. So because the hair is like high density, it's very puffy. I had to like pack it twice, so that's better for like for easier like manipulation and then also the front part I could like make it look neater because the back part like you don't have to bother about that just the front part going with your hot comb hairspray and then slicky back okay this is a nice slick back look I love this this hairstyle is giving business as usual like I can install this wig on a Monday and then just you know rock this you know for the week oh are we looking good okay like we're actually where's the accent coming from we're actually looking good okay um yeah i definitely love it like you guys see what i was talking about that i just wanted hair to be like flat and then the curls can just like do its thing at the back and because my body's always scratching me to do something let's try a quick style now the hair is really puffy so if i try to take it all up my claw clip is not going to hold this. It looks good, Sha. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I need to get myself bigger claw clips and also iron claw clips. If my friend is watching this video, yes, I took your advice. I'm going to get iron claw clips. But it's really puffy, and you all can see that the down part is like heavy. Okay, I don't think it will look good like looking at it from the back. So we can try something, and we can split the hair into two. So let's split the what's at the back into two and then this is what we clip up let it drop yeah and this could be a style so we have like half up you could bring this to like yourself Oh my god like this has made the hair like shorter because it was coming down like here before and then now it's like up here but yeah this is a style that you can do if you have like really like puffy hair and you can't take everything up you could leave some down and then do this okay i absolutely love this look honestly Wesky's hair y'all snapped okay with this one it looks so good i look beautiful i'm so happy that i decided to do this hair for my shoots because I'm going to eat honestly yeah um other things about the hair I think it was very easy to manipulate we didn't do so much manipulation but like styling this was very easy to do shedding wise not much shedding actually and I'm very happy because I want this volume to stay I love the volume I love give me something that says I'm here that's what I want um so I really like that so shedding wasn't much which I absolutely love i love the lace melted really well i can't wait to take this off wash it and install it with my normal method <laughs> with hopefully no mistakes but this looks so good well i'm happy i used the glue because blah, this is gonna be on my head for the next three days and more like 
let's see if we can take me up to a week can it can it yeah we can try we can try okay but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video it started off calm with like a voiceover and then now i'm here with the energy <laughs> <laughs> um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Check the description box for links because I got you guys as always. And I'll see you all in my next video, which you must watch. And if you want to watch it and you're not subscribed, you know what to do.